Good evening, humans. So, I've been playing Persona 4 Golden for the third time recently. Don't worry, no spoilers will be seen in this video. But it's got me thinking a little bit. The cogs in my brain have been absolutely working in overdrive. And I have a question for you, human. So, I have friends that play video games, and there is this... There, there's this... <clears throat> How should I say... There's this one camp of friends that I have that say any game over 30 hours is too long. And then I have another camp that says any game that is just 100 hours is too short. And me, as a RPG player, and I feel like most people who watch my videos are also JRPG players as well, I feel like the 100 hour threshold of playing a game is literally the average, I, I, I don't know how to say it. I feel like whenever I play a game, if I don't put over 100 hours into it, I barely scratch the surface. <laughs> I'm like, and it's just got me thinking, are we as JRPG players, are we like, are we weird, man? Like, 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 like I've heard other people talk. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I don't, <laughs> I don't wanna trash other, listen, listen, listen. All my videos are jokes. I'm not. <laughs> Listen, no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not even about to put a disclaimer on this. I'm gonna just talk my piece, bro. I literally nothing makes me laugh more <laughs> than hearing somebody talk about how much time they put into a game and hearing them say they put like 25 to 50 hours. <laughs> Bro, I just, I don't know, when I hear somebody talk about how much time they put into a game, and they say, oh my gosh, I've been playing this game for forever, I put like 30 to 40 hours into it, I I'm just, I'm just listening, I'm just, I'm listening to them, I'm just all like, that is so cute. <laughs> okay, so for anybody wondering, I'm replaying Persona 4 Golden right now, and I'm about... 25 to 26 hours into it. I'm about halfway through the game right now. Yes, I'm kind of speed running through it. When I originally played the game, I'm pretty sure around the 30 hour mark, I was still at the first dungeon in the game versus now and I'm about halfway through it. So that should really tell you how much I've kind of evolved as a Persona player, <laughs> I guess. But one thing I always love to do when I first played this game was I would always put on a podcast or or some sort of YouTube video or maybe even a television show in the background while I was grinding in a dungeon. And it was always kind of like this little therapeutic thing for me. I don't know. I would I would always every dungeon when I originally played P4, I would spend on average 10 hours grinding in that dungeon. I am not joking when I say that. The only dungeon that I did not spend 10 hours in P4 when I originally played it was the final dungeon in the true ending. Because by then I was absolutely sick of I was absolutely sick of grinding and I was like, hey bro, just take me to the end, take me to the end credits. Let's finish this game out. Understandably so. But I'm finding that I still do that same thing today. Like on average now, and I think the the longest I grind in a in a dungeon is maybe like an hour and thirty minutes. But even within those hour and thirty minutes, while I'm grinding in a dungeon, I'll put on a YouTube video, like a really long YouTube video that I don't really have to pay attention to, that I can just have on the background. Um, <clears throat> AKA this video, that's why there's no face cam. I'm like, no, I'm just kidding. I didn't want to do a face cam because I was too lazy. I don't know, man. There's some like, there's some cool about just being able to beat ass and hear somebody talk to you in your ear on your TV, monitor, computer. What the hell is Jiggles doing? Sorry, that's my cat. Like, it's just so chill, man. I feel like whenever I show people the hours that I play, that I put into a game, I feel like they think the whole time I'm just being attentive and, and, and paying attention to what's going on. Even though I am to a certain degree, I'm more than likely just kind of on autopilot grinding out, trying to either get a trophy, get to a certain level, and I have something else 
more so occupying my time that I'm listening to. I'll, I'll throw on a podcast. I ooh, bro, I used to listen to a lot of creepy pastas back in the day when I was originally playing P4. I listened to a lot of creepy pastas to get through those dungeons. And I'm also playing another game at this current moment called Death Stranding. Persona, I have about 26 hours into Death Stranding. I believe I have 76 hours in. And I'm literally still on the second chapter of Death Stranding, if you can even believe it. But it's because I really love diving into games and being sucked into the world. I, I, I talked about this a bit in the Death Stranding video. But television is quite literally my least favorite medium. And I was trying to understand why. And I didn't really want to give my opinions on television. But one of the reasons definitely has to be for the same amount of hours that I can put into watching or getting into a show. I could literally be controlling the action in a video game. Grinding up, getting stronger, collecting new materials to beat the bot. To beat the final boss? Like, bro, bro, uh, bro, I'm like, what am I doing watching Crimson Chin in the Millennium Falcon Season 6, Episode 38, where, where Crimson Chin is trying to find the Omega Ruby? Bro's been searching for this Omega Ruby for 1,700 hours, six damn seasons. Bro, you haven't found it yet? Just give up. I could be in Persona 4, grinding up Yukiko, uh... Oh, that sounds crazy out of context. Grinding Yukiko's levels up, making sure Teddy has all of his skill points in check, bro. I can be a part of the action. In these TV shows, I'm a passive little bitch. I'm not doing anything but sitting on my ass watching this shit, man. But in games, bro, in games, bro, I am the protagonist. I'm him, for real. <sighs> I recorded this video and I had the thought of recording this video and I said, I'm not going to make this face cam because I'm not going to be too wild. I'm not going to be too loud. I'm going to be normal. This is going to be a normal video. This is justice. This is justice. Of course, it's not going to be normal. Of course, you're going to get loud. Oh, Jesus Christ. Maybe I should have did face cam. <laughs> I don't know, man. For me, putting a bunch of hours into a game just showcases to me how much I love it, bro, and how much of a journey I've had with it. I think the least amount of time I've put into a game recently was either Soul Hackers, the first one, or Persona 3, Fez. I don't remember which one. It might have actually been Soul Hackers. I don't remember, but I know Persona 3, I beat that game in about nine days, and I put 70-something hours into it. And I finished Soul Hackers in two weeks, but I don't remember the amount of hours that I put into it. I'm about eight days into playing Persona 3 in 26 hours. But there's something about passing that 100 hour threshold that I can just look back on my whole entire journey and just be all like, bitch, that was you. You did that. You put in the time. You conquered this game. You know what's funny, right, is is I, I told y'all about my homie that plays Animal Crossing, yeah? And I swear on my life, this woman is obsessed with that game, bro. And so, right, I only have about 200 hours. Well, is it? Two, I haven't been on my Switch in, in forever. It's either 200 or 300 hours in Animal Crossing. Actually, I'm just going to say 200. And when I tell you, I forget where she was, but I'm pretty sure she had either 500 or 600 hours on Animal Crossing New Horizons, brother. I put that same amount of hours into P5 and I still can't. I, bro, I, bro, I still have PTSD from that game. How do you put, how do you put over almost a thousand hours, half a thousand hours into a game and still want to play it? I will never understand. I'm pretty sure Persona 5 is the game that I played the most out of any game I've ever touched ever. Against my will, however. Check out that video if you haven't seen it. It's it's a it's a uh, it's a sad tale to say the least. But tell me how we're talking about the amount of hours that we have put into Animal Crossing. She looks at my playtime and you know what she says? She calls me a loser! 
for having 200 hours in Animal Crossing. So, what? Listen, listen, hold on. Listen, not, not to be one of those people, okay, but back in my day, all right, Playing video games was not, was, you were looked down upon from playing video games. If you played video games, if you even uttered the fact that you put over 100 hours into a game, you would get bullied. I, I mean, I never got bullied. Well, well, mm, well, not by kids, but I would, but like adults were just absolute dickheads to me whenever I talked about video games like oh my gosh you play video games bro you should be doing this you should be going outside I'm like miss ma'am you have spent the last two weeks doing nothing but sitting in front of your tv watching game of thrones the show that literally goes nowhere and you're talking to me about wasting my time? Bitch, I'm saving Yukiko from her own demons! While well, you sit back and watch a show that has no game and no thrones, who's the idiot? Who's wasting their time? Because I know it's not me! Listen, son, okay? I remember growing up Adults always had something slick to say about me playing video games, dog. Now everybody plays video games, dog. How how am I getting clowned on for not having 500 hours in Animal Crossing? I'm like, if I had said that as a kid, bro, I would get my ass kicked. Oh my, hold on, oh, wait, 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 wait. This video is getting so off track, but I just... I gotta talk my shit, bro. I have to send my flowers over to a specific generation so I can absolutely shit on another one. Bro, millennials, I love y'all, bro. Y'all, bro, bro, y'all are the best. Bro, I love millennials, bro. But the generation before y'all, y'all niggas have stuck my dick. My God. Growing up in the 2000s, bro. I swear, I could not have anything, anything, without whatever generation was before millennials. That generation just absolutely hated to see me or any kid have fun, bro. Brother, tell me how my whole entire, like, career, my school career, I have never been bullied by kids because adults was the one doing it. Help! Help! I swear to God. I swear to God. Millennials, man. I, 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 what, what is it? G generation. M millennials are Generation Y. So. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, L, M, G, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y. Generation X! X! Brother, I remember being a kid, man, and anything fun, yo, anything nerd-related, anything geek-related, anything just fun. Gen Xers, they were shitting on it all. Do y'all remember? Do y'all? Because I remember. I remember a time when everybody was just absolutely dogpiling on millennials, bro, and I, f I felt so bad for them. I did. <laughs> And I don't know how y'all dealt with that smoke, brother. Because trust and believe, if if I was if I was getting dunked on the way y'all was getting dunked on on the internet like ten years ago, bro, I I, I would be a demon. I'm like, <laughs> oh my gosh, this video is getting so off track. You know what? Let me let me let me sing my praises to millennials real quick, and then <laughs> then we'll bring it back to the main topic. <laughs> nah, man. But like for real, yo, like. I remember I would I would always get like like Gen Xers, man. And, and you know, again, th these videos are just these videos. All of my videos are just for fun. I'm not being serious when I when I, I'm just talking about certain people. So I'm not saying like all Gen Xers, obviously, obviously not all of them are like this. But the ones that I was around, bro, they were some of the nastiest people, especially to me as a kid, bro. Just playing video games, loving stuff that I liked. They always had a problem with it, dude. And I'll never forget, like, 
growing up, even until high school, I had this huge irrational fear of adults simply because of the way I was treated by adults when I was younger. And the only time that I ever felt like a human being was when this um, this woman, I'll never forget her name. Um, well, shit, I actually did forget her name. She was Colombian. I remember that. She was Colombian. She was 20 at the time. I was 10. So she's probably like 32 at this point. So she was born in like 89 or 90, 90. She was probably born in like 89 or like 1990 at some point. So she's a millennial. And she was literally the coolest person ever, dude. Like she she talked to us. She was like a substitute teacher or something. And she was the coolest person ever. We would crack jokes. We would have fun together. I, rem- I remember she was all like, you know, Evie, when you grow up, you should be a comedian. I was like, girl, stop. You know, I'm not that funny. <laughs> But nah, man, she was she was literally an amazing teacher. All of all of the teachers that were, you know, like ten years older than me were always some of the the nicest, most compassionate people that actually tra- treated me like a human being instead of like a piece of trash because I play video games. But you know, that's that it. It is it is rather interesting to see the the climate change of how geek culture has uh, has shifted. In the past, I would say, how long ago was that? That was only 10 years ago. Yeah, that was only 10 years ago. Like, I still remember playing video games. Bro, you would know that was a no-no back in the day. You watched anime? That was a no-no back in the day. Now, I don't watch anime and I'm in the minority. That's a crazy thought to have, bro. Because I I still remember you watched anime back in the day. You was a weirdo. No, everybody on that joint. I'm going to be honest, you lot, this video was sporadic. I didn't really have a plan. I was kind of hoping it would be like a 40-minute video because I really did want it to be something that y'all could like put on in the background while y'all like grind out in a in a, in a a game or something. But um, I'm coming up on, I'm I'm running short on topics that I want to talk. I'm running short on topics that I want to talk about. So ultimately, the question really just stands. How long is too long? to play a video game for me personally over 500 hours is my threshold that's that's where i start to check out my uh, my animal crossing homie 500 hours is apparently where you just first get started for other people i know 30 hours is way too much for them so what's your opinion what do you think is too much what do you think is too little And also, tell me your shitty experiences with Gen X. I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm playing. I love everybody, I love everybody. Anyways, it's been Justice. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.